So it's May 24th and I'm out here with Gilligan and thank you for Landon for making me a new accessible path that I can reach. The broad side of Gilligan makes it a lot easier for me to come in and do my version of fluffing for Gilligan which usually means using a fork. I started fluffing before I started recording so the worms have gone down but we are seeing some beautiful transformation of materials that we've been putting in here. Obviously a few s sticks and whatnot. I don't know where they came from. Probably the manure. You get a bunch of jumble with manure, that's for sure. And it's not the fluffy castings that were in Gilligan at the end of the season, at the end of the winter, but I am digging down and trying to bring up some of the center. This is the first time I've actually been into the center of the bin. Because like I said, the path took us longer to get in place. So I was relying on just tending to the bin from one end, which not ideal. I think there's some compaction happening in the center of that pile. Anyway, I just thought I'd let you take a quick look at Gilligan. Um, the material that you can see has been processed is starting to take shape. There are a lot of lumpy bits in here. My original forecast was obviously really optimistic that I could get this done by June. It's May 24th and although the worms are working hard and they are breeding, I don't think I have the population in here to go through this amount of material in a short period of time. I think why my fork is catching on the bottom of the bin a little bit is I'm hitting that technology packing cardboard uh, that it was the bottom. There's a little bit of Eat My Shorts leftovers uh, with a worm tucking around it. <laughs> so. Uh, there's a bit of a jumble in here, like I said, of things that I've brought from various parts of our, our, our worm farm. Everything from the manure, to the eat my shorts, to that technology packing cardboard, uh, to, oops, and then I just dropped a bit. Oh dear, hopefully it didn't have any worms on it. If it did, I will retrieve that lump of material and throw it in at the end. Here's one of our worms. Let's take a look close up. It's one of the worms working hard in Gilligan. Looks to be happy, doesn't look like to be in the open air, so put him back in. Anyway, uh, and he's right next to a friend, so that's good. So what I brought out here, in addition to a few additional worms that I found in another system that I thought, oh, I'll just throw them in Gilligan, is I brought some food that sat out far too long. I was going to blend it and it was just sitting and so I couldn't process it in time. So I just decided to throw the whole thing in the freezer in this bowl because our life just got really busy all of a sudden and I didn't have time to pulse it up. So I've thought it a little bit. It is far too much food for this system, but then it's not all thawed. So what I thought I would do is uh, clean off this fork, tap, 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 and just go in here and see if enough of it is thawed to give to Gilligan. Yeah, the carrot peelings are definitely thawed. There's some avocado stems. I don't know if they need to be thawed. So I'll just flick some of this material into Gilligan. You know, we really haven't been feeding Gilligan regular food. I think we gave him some rotten apples and we gave him obviously all that manure. All right, so into this bowl, there's a, a Kleenex, there's some stems. I'm just trying to grab some stuff that is not heavily frozen. There's a big chunk in the middle that is frozen. So I'm just grabbing the asparagus stems and the worms love to hide in these 
avocado shells. So I'll give Gilligan one of these, a couple of these avocado shells and those cilantro stems are from my microgreens. That might have been part of AJ's cardboard box challenge actually, those nice long cilantro stems. Anyway, I think that's enough for Gilligan. My estimates are there's probably about 1500 worms, but it's a big system. So they'll have to find this food. Uh, and I will come out in um, probably four or five days and check on it again. So well done, Gilligan. You've started up again. No word when Micah's going to want her sandbox paddling pool back. Probably not until middle of July. So that looks good timing then for Gilligan. He has a little bit more time to go. Oh, and I forgot to add my worms in. They can go in on the top. So I just found some worms that were hanging out in um, some of my garden pots. And I thought I would just throw them, throw them in here. They might as well live in Gilligan where they can do some composting for us rather than in a garden pot where they would be struggling for struggling for food and consistent moisture and obviously they're not they don't like living in soil so I'll just cover them up a little bit with some cardboard there we go I am sorry for the mess of top of Gilligan it is definitely a rough and ready bin but it worked really well through the winter and I actually think it's working well well through these uh, late spring months as well. I think Gilligan has proven that you don't need a big fancy worm bin outdoors. And I see people with great big bathtub systems and I can see the appeal of a bathtub system having drainage, but Gilligan has made do with no drainage at all and is doing just fine. That worm was hanging out in the cardboard. So I've disrupted his sunbathing or whatever he was doing. So the cardboard I just jumble on top and I do find worms that crawl in there, which is amazing because that is, you know, probably four or five inches away elevated from the humidity of, of the bedding. And they're mostly in just dry cardboard and they don't need to be. They, they can go anywhere they like. I guess there's semi damp burlap, burlap that's on the very top of Gilligan. Here's the other side. Everything's looking good. All right, bye everyone.